Hi, my name is Florencia, that's my boyfriend making this video, and today I'm going to show you how to make alfajores de maicena con dulce de leche. Be sure to have all your ingredients at room temperature. So you want to start with the softened butter and put it into a big mixing bowl. Add the icing sugar, the salt, and grate the zest of a lemon in there. Then you start mixing at low speed with a hand mixer for about 2 minutes until everything is combined. You don't want to over mix because, unlike a cake, you're not trying to incorporate too much air into the dough. Then separate two yolks, add them to the dough and mix until combined. Then add the whole egg and beat for about 1 minute. Add the baking soda into the flour and sieve it into the dough. Do the same thing with the cornstarch. Then leave out the hand mixer and switch to a wooden spoon or a spatula and start mixing until everything is incorporated and you don't see any more flour lumps. Divide the dough into halves, wrap them in cling film and roll them out for about 5mm thickness. Be careful of not rolling it out too much or the cookies will be too thin. Then put them into the fridge and let them cool for about 30 minutes until the butter is firm. Take one half of a dough at a time, so you're working with cold dough. Lay it onto parchment paper and dust it with a little bit of flour. Roll out the dough a little bit so it gets an even surface. If the dough starts to feel too soft, you might want to put it back into the fridge before continuing working with it for at least 10 minutes. Dunk the cookie cutter into the flour and start cutting out the shapes. Put them into a prepared baking pan with parchment paper and bake them at 160 degrees for about 10 minutes. Take them out of the oven and let them cool completely on a cooling rack before trying to peel them. They will be pale and might have a crack or two on the surface. Don't be alarmed, they are meant to look like this. You can peel them using a spoon, but for the best look I recommend using a piping bag. So you start with one cookie bottom facing up and pipe a generous amount of dulce de leche from the outer edge to the center as you go. Then you take the second cookie and sandwich them together. You press them gently so the filling gets to peek out from the edges a little bit. I'm using a thick dulce de leche here, also known as dulce de leche pastelero. This is important because this kind of dulce de leche won't spread too much and won't drip. Regular dulce de leche is fine too, but have in mind that you won't be able to put as much filling as I'm doing here. Then roll them into the secreted coconut. And they're ready! You want to kind of leave them overnight before you eat them because the cookie will soak up the moisture of the dulce de leche and they will be even tastier the day after. These cookies are ones from my childhood. I hope you like them and you make them and if you have any doubts you can leave them in the comments below. Thank you!